guys, Fishler Freshwater here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make inline spinners. It's cheap, easy, uh, and pretty effective. Uh, you should be able to get it in an hour or so, just telling it, so you could have a timeout to build it and customize it. Uh, depending on the weights you use, uh, if you use cheap weights, you could keep the uh, price under like five bucks probably. Uh, but otherwise, the materials are going to be pretty accessible in your home. Enjoy. To start off, you will need these materials. Um, first, we're going to take a paper clip and kind of just bend it out, but like not totally out. Um, you want to try to keep it as straight as possible without any bends, because if you do have any bends, um, it's going to make the work a lot harder for you to do later. And also, don't bend the last um, bend on the paper clip. You want to keep the last curved part so we could work with it easier. Um, now, what we want to do is that uh, we want to choose a hook for it. Um, you could choose straightion hooks. Uh, these are usually easier uh, to not get snagged since treble hooks are easier to get snagged, especially if you are fishing in snaggy situations. Um, and also remember to match the hook size with the weight size. You don't want to have an oversized hook or like tiny hook on a medium sized weight. So match it up. Uh, this like size two hook works perfectly with my three ounce, eight ounce bullet weight. So we're just going to use that. And I was saying um, you could choose your own type of hooks. I'm just doing a straight shank hook because um, I ain't got I can't find any trebles right now. So, uh, like I did, just go through the bend. That's why we need it. This is like the last bend hook. Now we want to use our pliers to pinch it together. So when the fish pull it, the hook won't unbend on itself. And the whole spinner is going to fall apart. Keep clicking it until it is 100% tight. And now try to pull it. It shouldn't pull out that easily since paper clips are still made out of metal. And now what we want to do is we want to twist it. So give it a little twist. Twist it around the um, whole paper clip. This could prove to be a little difficult because um, paper clip is still pretty hard. And um, you need to use hard paper clips to make these inline spinners, or otherwise, we're just the fish are gonna just pull them out so easily that um, you'll just like when when whenever you hook on one, they're just gonna come off. So now we want a second plier or any device you can hold the paper clip. So we're gonna use this to. Tightly clip onto the hook, the eyelet of a hook that we made. And we're just gonna try to twist the other part on. Uh, just do as well as you can, um, cause it's gonna be pretty difficult. And you wanna try to do it as close to the eyelet as you can too. So you won't it won't take much as much space. So like this we've already tied one. Um this is a little bit um longer than I expected, but we'll just work with that. So try to make sure everything is pinched tight. And then we want to outbend the end of the paper clip a little bit. So we have so it's easier for us to clip off later because we don't want an extra end of metal sticking out of our hook. Sorry for the blurry camera focus. So now um, we're just gonna Take our pliers and clip it. It might take you a few tries, but most pliers um, 
you should be able to do it in th uh, three clips at least. Also straighten out the paper clip if you haven't yet. So we've successfully um, detached the end of metal. If you haven't, um, just clip it again. Usually two times, it's going to come off very easily. We're going to try to pinch that in there. Although it didn't really matter. Just to make it look better. So you really want to let the hook eyelid be very, very, very tight. So now we've got the end done. Now it's time to choose your weight. Um, I'm missing a few bullet sinkers, so I'm going to use a bullet weight. To make it more inline or to have a more balanced weight um, down, you could choose to use an egg sinker. Um, you could also choose not to put any beads on it, but um, for my purpose, uh, I want to protect the sinker and the part better, so the eyelid part better, so I'm gonna um, just put slide a big bead down there. It's also, um, I'm using floral scent beads. Uh, I think any of her beads is gonna work well. It's also gonna give it a little more clicking noise. So that might be good if you are fish in the area are into um, clicking noises. So we're just going to slide the weight down. It's going to be very hard if um, you have lots of uh, little ins and out bands on the paper clip. So it's very important in the first place that you straighten it out. Now we're going to put a new bead so basically um hook bead sinker bead and now we're gonna work on the spinner part the reason why we put this other bead on top of the sinker is so the the spinning blade could spin more freely or it's gonna be keep clashing onto the sinker now you could grab a can drink anything like a coca-cola or soda that's uh, made in a can and then we have this little tag piece on it that you pull off it's simple you want to pull it off and then there's a little hole in there where you could attach it and then now we need to make this u-shaped piece like this rooster tail it has this little u-shaped piece that it attaches the blade and same with this um blue fox spinner uh, the reason uh, we use this blade is so the U shape to attach the blade so um it could spin a lot more freely or like now if I don't attach it it's just gonna like spin very um lagged and won't have a very good action. So we're just gonna take a piece of um paper clip, either a new one or a used one, and then put the blade in there and then just bend it into a U shape and then make two little eyelets on the end so we could attach it to the main paper clip this part is basically just me working on it um, this process is gonna probably take you a very very long time because uh, you've got to work with small spaces um, and you need lots of brute force to um, make it make the eyelids so now we just want to pinch it so uh, the two eyelids are really in line and we could attach it to a main spinner so now we've uh, successfully attached it to a main spinner and now it's gonna spin freely Make sure the, um, you close down in the eyelids. Uh, and you might not get it at first, but just um, keep practicing. You'll get it. 
get it real fast. Um, so the problem with my blade is that there's like this little top thingy that keeps hitting the paper clip, the body of a spinner. So I'm just gonna clip it off with a um a plier without actually damaging the little hole we attach the U shaped piece on. And then now we're gonna attempt it again. Make sure the two eyelets on the U-shaped thing are not too hard that um, it actually didn't spin or it's too loose that it's going to fall off. So now this is what the candy wrappers are for. It's to customize your spinner. Um, honestly, if you don't customize this, it's uh, fine too. But using these shiny candy wrappers or any snack wrappers, uh, it's going to give off a shine. Kind of like the ones you buy at the store. So um, I I didn't just eat those in like a week. Uh, these are the ones I stored over the years. Different types of colors. So now we're just gonna take our spinner, and I'm not gonna um really film this because. Really, it's just gluing and stuff like that, but I'm just gonna quickly transform it into a wrapper, wrapped um spinner. So as you see, for the bullet part, just like cut off a little piece and cover it. Uh, if you want different patterns, this is um an orange colored one. You'll have a lot of freedom in choosing the uh, color you want. Because a lot of times, um, like I want a green color, but the store only got blue color one, and um, yeah, you don't you don't have as much color freedom as you do with making your own spinner. So we could use a gold piece for the um, spinning blade, for example. Just um, wrap it around and then cut it off. Uh, be careful. Uh, a lot of candy wrappers use um, like not a tin foiling material, but like paper material. It's gonna get wet and rot, so you don't want that. So now we just um uh, transformed our. I just made my little uh paper wrapped spinner. We just use the other one, and I kind of just use um a glue to glue onto the lead piece and a spinning blade piece. So now it's like a green inline spinner. It definitely doesn't look as good as the ones you could buy, but um, I'm excited to test it out. At least all the underwater tests I have done, it looked pretty good. So as you see, the blade spins freely. And the, um, and the reason I put green is basically because the fish in my area really, like, really dig the green color especially in the time of year right now so thank you all for watching please go down and click the subscribe button and like and share my videos uh we're on our road to 75 subscribers right now we're at 65 currently so if you have not subscribed yet please go down there and click the button for me um as always first air fresh water see you on the next one